Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are building something really cool, a stunning dashboard with interactive charts in Laravel using the chart.js. Now, if you ever wondered how to visualize your data with beautiful responsive charts in Laravel, this tutorial is for you. We'll be creating three different charts, user growth, uh, product revenue and article statistics all updating dynamically with livewire now here i have opened the chart js as you have seen here and i have installed in my project so i have created a project installing this uh, chart js well, the project is with uh, livewire starter kit and here is the project also i have added a home link here so go to home and dashboard that's it and then i have created uh, let me open the project i have created the product model and migration and the product has, has name description and price and also article model and migration and i have created some uh, fake data okay so we have data to create so let me just open the article factory here we have title and published art which is a fake date between now at the year and minus one and now and also if i open the product factory the same thing because we already use a created art here on the product to get by the month and also for the user i have updated the user factory just to add this created ad and updated ad because we are going to use this created ad to see how many users we have registered based on the month and then in the seeder yeah i have created 15 users and 100 product and 100 articles now we have some data to work with let's start because right now if we see the dashboard is empty because we have that dashboard uh, blade which comes by default with uh, laravel i'm going to create a new live wire component so let's say artisan make live wire and i'm going to name it a dashboard this is creating the dashboard class and blade and first i'm going to open the web routes and change now this route or remove entirely this route and i'm going to add a new route in here and say route yeah get dashboard we need to import this dashboard class okay so route get dashboard as in the dashboard class and now if i save let's come here and if i refresh yeah we have a dashboard here but as you can see uh, now we have a new dashboard which is the dashboard inside the live wire view so if i just type something here h1 and we have dashboard and let me just run also the npm or composer run dev here now let's open uh, let's close this and also close this i'm going to open the dashboard class and here i'm going to create some methods first i'm going to paste this so protected function users per month let's import also the user model i have prepared the code i have asked the ai to be able to create this code for me so user query select the row month created at as month count all as total where year created at now year group by month order by month plug the total and month and then return labels and data because the chart js wants the labels and data and return this month labels now we don't have this i'm going to show you in the minute and data data values here on the month labels we just added data keys okay now the same thing as this one i'm going to add for the product so product revenue and let's just import the model month created as month and here we use some price because the product has a price as a revenue and where you are created at look by month order by month and plug the revenue and month and here the same thing 
who I going to sh I'm going to show you this month labels later. And the last method is for the articles. So we're going to have three charts. This is for article, and here we use the published ad as you, as I show you. Select month published ad as a month count as total and where year published growth by month and so on. Also this year we return the labels and data. Now the last thing is to show you this month label method, which is month label accepting the months which is the data keys and return a collect months map fn pass in the month here and now month pass in the month format pass in the m here and return it early collect map early okay and let's come right here so we have users per month product revenue per month and also articles per month i'm going to create another method here which is a public method get charts property and here we're going to return the users products and articles and users call this user per month this product revenue per month and these articles per month and then down there we can pass on the render return the view here also yeah add the charts this charts which is this property here charts get charts property now we have done with the class dashboard class let's open the blade which is this blade here and we have to paste some code here so div div class grid grid calls one md grid calls two and on large grid calls three gap six and margin bottom of six and here we're going to have the users charts here the products revenue charts and here the articles chart i have a h3 on uh, all of them so here users per month product revenue per month and articles per month and we have the canvas with the id and if i save and just see on the browser what we have right now yeah here it is uh yeah let me just add also on the dark mode bg not gray i'm going to say 900 let me just see uh yeah we can or we can add a zinc let's say bg zinc which is the same as yeah this one also here and also here and now we have dark mode also available okay now let's add uh you can go and read more on the chart js how you can use so integration and step by step so add the chart and then const my chart new chart pass in the ctx context or let me just show you i'm going to open also the app js inside the resources and here i have imported let's leave it like this we don't need that we have imported a chart from chart js and to be the chart available in our uh, project i have added in on the window window chart so we can use also the alpine to work with this chart and let me paste the javascript code also here and here i have push scripts because if i open the sidebar layout here we have the sidebar and i because i'm using the sidebar i have added down there stack scripts okay so for that i'm using push scripts and now document add event listener dom content loaded and yeah if we search I just copy this and inside the live wire if we search for this because we are using live wire you can see instead of using this we can use the document at event listener live wire navigated and let's change this with the live wire because we are using live wire if you don't use live wire you can use the dom content loaded because this is 
almost also with only blade. We don't need live wire until now. Also the Alpine.js. You just add add event listener and add DOM content loaded and use this which is which is a plain JavaScript. And here we have the user users chart. So create a concept, users context and document get element by ID users chart should be and here we have the users chart ID okay we're going to get that one here and then when to say new chart pass in the users context type line you can read more on the documentation of chart.js for types and also data and inside the data we are, have added the labels and with Lara value we can just use a js which is going to convert these charts data into json and uh, we have also data sets here personal label i have added users here but you can use what you like and then also inside the data we have js chart users data here and users label because if we open again the dashboard class for every so users per month we have returned labels and data and here we have labels and data okay and yeah i have used here the further color and background color just to change the color how i want also passing the options responsive true main then aspects ratio and so on you can read more as i told you in the description or you can see here and do exactly the, what i have done next we have the products revenue also here we get the products context by using the products chart id and then here i have used type bar passing the labels inside the data and also in data sets data js products data options also here then we have articles chart the same thing get element by the article chart and here type a bar labels is here and the data set we have added the data and that's it as you can see now if i save this and let's see on the browser and yeah here we have our data so articles per month we have on january 8th here we have 12th september may 12th and 12th on february also product revenue okay also users so on the september and this is how we can use the charges in uh, laravel application now this is only with the javascript and uh, plate so you don't need live wire or alpine.js but if you want to use alpine.js here let me just uh, paste that code so i'm going to remove this and paste the code with live wire okay let's see yeah as you can see we have changed the color here but anyway let's see now this is using live wire so document that event listener alpine init alpine data chart component chart data type label and color and here is the beauty because here we have only one method as you can see chart null and we are going to initialize first get the ctx from this refs canvas and we have added x data chart component and then passing here the js charts users line users and the color which is uh, chart data type labels and the color okay and then we have initialized create a new chart passing the type to be type what we have put here so in this case bar bar or line here and then labels chart data labels and data chart data dot data border color the color and color background color color replace rgb rgba also options as you can see and uh, yeah 
we have something like this. Now the colors is not looking very good here because let me just change. Let's say here if we have the if the type is line, we can add like this. Otherwise, let me just copy this and paste it. We can say 08. And if I save now, and yeah, now we have something like this. Okay, friends. So this is all of the script in the dashboard blade. HTML and then the script document other than listener for the Alpine init. Alpine. And here is the init, the method for all of them. And also let me just show you for the last time the dashboard class. So public function get charts property, which returns users, products, and articles, all, all the methods we have. So users per month, product revenue per month, and articles per month. And here we have users per month, product revenue per month, and articles per month, and also the month labels, which return the collect months map array. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share with your friends. All the best. Thank you very much.